attention back to the forecast and tomorrow morning's drive is going to be a little different than what we've had today. So we're looking at some wet weather tracking a cold front coming through going to bring us the opportunity for some rain out ahead of it today. It's nothing but sunshine and temperatures on the cooler side. But you know what? Very close to average where we typically see our temperatures upper 50s and the weekend. Once the cold front gets through, it's right back to dry weather and some sunshine. 55 degrees out there right now. Look at that beautiful blue sky. A west wind at eight miles per hour. Winds a little bit more variable throughout the day today as high pressure sits right over us. But we we did make it down to 38 degrees in Detroit, even had some upper 20s this morning. 59 and 41 is what we average for our highs and lows. We're, right now we're in the low to mid 50s across the board. 52 degrees and nice and sunny for you in Ann Arbor. Also seen some sunshine in 52 in Pontiac, 53 Port Sanilac. Port Sanilac, you are one of those locations that dropped into the 20s, so you've rebounded nicely. More of a variable wind, as I mentioned, and on the lighter side, winds only about 5 to 10 miles per hour that'll carry us through the rest of the day today. So lighter winds. We look at the cold front back to the west already igniting a few showers around Minneapolis as we'll continue to move through the upper Great Lakes and high pressure will move aside. But with high pressure in our favor for today, when you look from start to finish the afternoon into the evening, it just looks spectacular. Temperatures in the upper 50s and holding steady too until the sun sets and then our temperatures will start to drop. Still does not look like it's going to be as cold uh, tomorrow morning as it was this morning, but high pressure right there will continue continued its journey off to the east at this point. Here comes the area of low pressure in the cold front. It'll start to bring in the chance for a few showers, maybe as early as 8 o'clock in the morning, especially for our western suburbs, spreading across the area through the morning. We're talking about scattered to even numerous showers at times until the front clears, and that'll be in the afternoon. As we work our way toward the evening, we're talking about some of the Friday night high school football games. At this point, it looks like we'll dry out. Great news, although areas to the north, especially through the northern thumb, maybe even up toward Traverse City, will hold on to that rain a little bit longer. So if you're doing some traveling, keep that in mind. But then high pressure slides in right behind it for the weekend, and that'll bring us back to sunshine and dry weather for both Saturday and Sunday. When we start to look at the chance for rain, the timeline for tomorrow, again, sort of thinking of the first half of the day. So get your plans in maybe in the afternoon versus the morning if you want to, uh, again, avoid that wet weather. Don't have to worry about it, though, for the Michigan State Michigan game. It is a 730 p.m. an evening kickoff, a mostly clear sky temperatures in the mid 50s. We we drop back down into the low 50s by the end of the game, but really pleasant conditions. And then moving forward on Sunday, it is a 1 p.m. kickoff on Sunday for the Lions and getting to the game. No problems. Tailgating looks fantastic. Again, we stay dry through the weekend. Look at that. A warm up next week. We're back in the 70s.